Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more Red Dead Redemption. When we last left off, we assaulted Fort Mercer, and it was fairly successful. However, unfortunately, the guy we were there for uh, left the previous morning, which, of course he did. Would have been a pretty short game otherwise. So, we need to go meet our friend Irish and head on over to the uh, wonderful land of Mexico. And what could possibly be uh, better than that, huh? The land of banditos. Excellent. Banditos and burritos. Yeah, see? You got a, a bit of bad and a bit of good all rolled into one. Right, okay. So, let's... Ah, yes. Uh, so, when I loaded back in, apparently we have the funny man over here. So, let's try and wrap that up. Because uh, I'm pretty sure uh, we're going to be in Mexico for a little while. I don't think there's much to do in New Austin um, for quite a while. Uh, I think there is a little bit later on in the game where you come back. Uh, now, this transition to Mexico, I'm pretty sure when I first played this game originally, all those years ago, uh, I think this is where I kind of gave up on it and got bored of it. Um, playing it now, I don't know why. I don't know why, because I am enjoying the absolute pants off this game. So, yeah. It's also, um, how would I say? It, it, I mean, it's not linear at all. You know, it's kind of like the big open world experience. But it isn't like an overwhelming uh experience you know there's stuff to do around on the map sure but there isn't like a stupid amount you know it doesn't feel like you know every square inch of the map is filled with 200,000 things to do and you know you could live 35 lifetimes and never get through half of it uh, which is a problem I actually had with I kind of had that problem with the second game. Um, I am going to be playing that off camera um, at least once before we get to it. They're just... Um, there's just so, so much there. Hello, what's all this about? And it's a problem that I had with Far Cry 5 as well. Like, I gave up hardcore with uh, Far Cry 5. I felt like I'd played 10 games worth of content. And it's all the same shooty, shooty, bang, bang content. Uh, and when I realized that I'd only actually defeated one of the, like, was it three or four people? And I was looking at the map of all these dots and things all over it um, of stuff to do and blah, blah. And it's just like, you know what? Ain't nobody got time for this shit. And I tried with Far Cry 5. I did. Um, but yeah, that it's like a 50-hour game that should have been a 10-hour game. Um, and I, I have that same feeling with The Last of Us 2. I think when I completed The Last of Us 2, it took me... It, I'm sure it's like 42 hours or something. And that was difficult. That should have been a 10-hour game. You know, it just so much of that sort of uh, that that game, especially, just felt like padding and filler, especially with the gameplay loop that it actually had. You know, which, which was fine for the first you know ten hours, but it didn't evolve. It didn't. Nothing changed. It was just, oh hello, walk into a room full of enemies, kill them all. Oh hello. Yep, well, we're not helping him with a knife, are we? Um, that's bad. Alright, fella. Yeah, there, buddy. You good? You saved my life, sir. This is all I have to offer, but I shall pray for you forevermore. Oh, yay. Now we have an invisible friend on our side. Excellent. Yeah, so, um, there, you know, there absolutely is such a thing as a game just drags on for too long. I mean, I must admit, with especially with The Last of Us 2, there were certain parts of that game 
where I thought the end was coming up, and I was like, oof, God, okay, finally going to get to the end. And it's like, nope, kept going. Oh, here's an ending. Here's the ending cutscene. Nope, there's more. Yeah. But then I, I must admit, I am getting tired of these Sony single-player uh, kind of style games. They all just seem to be the same. Uh, I know I was kind of tempted to play the new God of War. But, yeah, I played God of War, like, the one that was on the PS4. And um, from what I've seen of the new one, it's, it's just that again. You know, prettier, I suppose, but... And and God of War on the PS4 as well. Um, again, really did quite enjoy that game. But my God, they could have cut that that game in half. Are you literally just getting yourself captured? Like, is this a kink? Are you being kinky on me? Hmm. Kind of tempted to just finish you off myself. Oh. I say there's a lot of red dots on the map there. Thanks, sport. You are a true American hero. Uh, what are you doing down here? Oh, I just thought I'd see a little bit of the local color, you know. But these gentlemen have seen to it that I've enjoyed the true hospitality of the frontier. Uh, cigar? Let's get out of here. Right. I would have enjoyed a cigar. Yeah, let's not worry about you, buddy. You're definitely not going to get captured again. Um, right, okay. So, Pike's Basin. Um, I thought we cleared this place out. Do these... Uh, maybe these places repopulate with enemies. I don't know. I mean, I guess so. It keeps... Uh, make sure there's... Wait, what's this? Social club. Uh, uh, we've already done that. Yeah, so these are those online social club challenge things that I kind of remember. Oh, hang on. Uh, I think they're just like endlessly respawning. I think the whole point is with the Rockstar Social Club. And we're stuck. Yep, we're definitely stuck. Yeah, is you're supposed to... Do these as quick as you can and get like the best score and stuff um just for leaderboard rewards in other words you do it once and you forget about it padding is what we call it in the uh in the business now i'm ah there we go you failed to complete the pike basin challenge yeah well we've already done it once what do you think this is? Destiny? We're not just going to endlessly grind out the same mission over and over and over and over again. I mean, hey, if you like that sort of thing, fair enough. But there's too many games to play. Too much stuff to do. To be doing the same shit constantly. You probably get money from doing that. But like we've seen in previous... Um, missions. You don't get like a huge amount of money for doing the missions. It just kind of pushes the story along, which is fine. It adds uh, a lot more reason to loot. Okay, so here we are. Bristlebush Troll. Hello, Irish. Uh, who else is that with him? Is that Dickens? Yeah, it doesn't look that deserted to me. That does look like Dickens. We shall be together in paradise. That's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> ah, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Oh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at. Should just hold his oil. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. <laughs> you know the way? Here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. Come on then, doggy. 
I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax, we'll have a great time and we'll find your man Williamson no bother. I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but you know, I've never done you wrong. No, but not through lack of trying. Hey, uh, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, John Marston. Thank you. Where are you headed? Oh, me? Oh, uh, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of you. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes, we men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. <laughs> medals. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. Very peculiar fellow. Right, that's once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, Springfield rifle. Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of pits and it can't be the manner of nothing. Got your priorities straight. Well, you know. There are worse ways to wake up, for sure. So, we now have a Springfield Rifle, which is the most powerful, slow rate of fire, quicker reload capacity. Alright. Four rounds, that's fine. <laughs> oh dear. Nope, and I'm trying to get cover. Right. Ooh, I don't know who she was, but she's dead now. Uh, Irish, is this... Alright. So it looks like Irish has bungled it up somewhere. Right, I do remember this mission. Vividly. Now this Springfield rifle is bloody accurate and powerful, man. Oh, I like it. Very nice. I don't know. This is pretty warm, Irish. I see them, brother. I see them. <laughs> yeah, well, let's not celebrate yet, John. Irish just seems to piss everybody off. I think that's his specialty. That's fine. I'm sure we're going to be hearing a little bit more about his adventures across the river. Alright, there's still one dude over there somewhere. Oh! That's bad. Can you please not throw TNT at me? Good God, man. These guys really don't like you, Irish. I remember struggling with this mission. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why so far. Come on. Let's get... Oh, God. Hello. Nope. <laughs> I'll be buggered backwards. Well, that's up to you, buddy. You do what you want. <laughs> Another Irish fella. Uh, that sounds bad. So you fiddled with some girl's daughter. Some guy's daughter, I should say. And also owed him money. I'm sure large quantities of alcohol were probably involved as well. Well, we're certainly thinning the population of Mexico out. Oh, this rifle. Oh, this rifle. This rifle is incredible. Oh, we missed. That'll do. More ammo in the back, you say, Irish? 
All right, let's go. Let's go to the back. Nice. Hi. <laughs> yeah, that's more likely. Not gonna lie. <laughs> go to hell, the lot of you, me included. Right. Um. Who's still shooting? So, come on, rat boy. Let's get this thing moving. I'm pretty sure we're not out of the woods yet. There we go. Oh, uh, that's bad. That's bad. Um, duck, you dingus. Yeah, I'm trying to kill as many as I can. <laughs> Start as you mean to go on, John. It's going to make the next census kind of uh, messy. When half of the uh, population is no longer here. Oh my god. Oh, are we dead? We are not dead. Come on. Oh. Now we're dead. My god. Now I believe we hit a checkpoint there. Maybe this is where it actually does get difficult. Because I do remember being stuck on this for a hot minute. Come on. Load up. Nope. Aim John. There we go. It's fine. It's fine. More beans and burritos for the rest of us, I guess. And salsa. Oh, how can we forget salsa? Right, this is bad. Can you die, please? You also need to die. And you are a problem. There we go. Oh, nice. <laughs> ah, it's all good. It's all good. There's more? Yeah, well, that's great and all. I really do hope these are banditos and not lawmen that we're killing. Do they have lawmen? In Mexico? I guess they do. I know it's cartel country. Or at least it is these days. Ah, can we not... I guess we can't dead-eye the containers. That's a shame. How many men do they have? You must be taking up another Irish well, even for an Irish fella, you are pretty distinctive. Um, come on, come on. 
Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. Again with the TNT. Again with the TNT. That's fine. Right, okay. Right, reload, reload. Come on, reload. Don't get out of cover. Reload. Well, that's better than nothing, I suppose. Not sure why you're not reloading properly. Oof. There who is. Yeah, I remember my criticism now. I just think this... Oh, is that all the ammo? Oof. Yeah, I remember thinking that this mission just went on too long. Not quite as long as I thought. Ooh, me too. Something or other. Some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. I uh, played three card stud with him. Uh, or was it four card Monty? Well, I forget. <laughs> he was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a little bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. Famed hospitality isn't what it once was, and I've never been known to overstay me welcome. <laughs> so off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a jack ugly man, <laughs> but not a bad one. <laughs> well, to be fair, he got us here. So, what else could we ask for, I guess? Right, anyway, here we are in good old Mexico. I think we can get a poncho out here as well. Which uh, I definitely don't believe is racist to wear if you're a white person. And if you do believe it's racist to wear a poncho, then, well, you need extreme amounts of help okay I can't remember what the poncho does actually I do think it is one of those uh, costumes that gives you something some kind of bonus but I do remember um, I think it was kind of a difficult one to unlock might be a uh, Let's have a look at the map. So it might be one of those ones that's... Ooh. No, it's not a pick. Ah. Hello. I know you. What are you doing down here? Ah, yes. Also, there's treasure. We have a treasure map, which I believe is like here somewhere. We'll probably get that in the next video. Right. Let's go see the I know you guy. I might as well, you know, first steps in this uh, new country. Looks like they have deer down here. Which is none too surprising. Some animals are only found in certain parts of the world. You can earn more from selling these rarer materials in other ten uh, territories. Yep, that does make sense. I don't know what's um, unique to Mexico, though. Maybe it is. No, no, no. No, maybe it is the boar. I'm not sure. 
I know the Yeti is in America, although, or New Austin, I should say. Um, although, I, I don't know if the Yeti is unique to uh, Undead Nightmare. Quite possibly. Uh, it's all flooding back to me now. So I wonder what this fellow's on about this time. I know you. They certainly get about a bit. I wonder if we still get those um, pumas. Sure, they were pumas, not mountain lions, because they are nasty, as we've seen with our encounter. I do like the scenery down in Mexico. It does look um, significantly better. Ah, oh, what is that? Don't we need to collect that? Some kind of cactus. Prickly pear, that's it. Right, prickly pear. How many of those do we actually need? I'm sure. Challenges. Eight prickly pears. Okay. That's easy enough. Yeah, the boar tasks. We got the armadillo. We'll do that in the next video. Kill three bears each with one shot. Ah, I don't know if you get bears in Mexico. Thinking about it. I think they might be New Austin only. And they're at the top of the map. Which we can't actually access just yet. But okay. Prickly bears. I think we get a unique bears. Uh, a unique bears? Unique birds as well. Down here. Now, we need to get eight of these, so I'm hoping they're somewhat abundant. Right. Six more. I mean, I'm guessing they're going to be fairly common. Arm wrestling competitions. I do vaguely remember the arm wrestling. I think that was uh, not a bad way of making money. At least it was at one point. I'm not sure how that mini game works though. I'm, I think it's just a case of tapping the button. It's one of those. I'm sure. Ah, oh, there's a donkey. Yes. We can get ourselves a donkey. Now, I think that donkey's like. An interesting steed. I think it's really slow. But they're quite hardy. Yes. The pleasure is all mine. Welcome to Nuevo Pariso, John. Where do I know you from? You're famous, John. You're the man who shot a bunch of banditos as soon as he turned up in this country. You're a man decided right and wrong between a man and death between a man and his wife and who are you you know I admire you young John I hope my boy turns out just like you for your sake I hope he don't you kill people so easily yet you respect the vows of marriage that's very curious I'll let the appropriate authorities judge my morality friend yes you will shall. Anyway, I hear that an old nun is traveling from the monastery and taking the money to raise for the bank. Why don't you head up there and see if you can lend her a hand? Road's full of thieves. Either that or robbers or so. I'll see you around. I hope you don't. <laughs> don't think I'm going to be robbing a nun. I don't think that's quite John's play style. Now, uh, can we rob this guy? Can we rob the donkey? No, we can't. I think we can't rob it because it doesn't have a saddle. 
I'm sure you can buy a donkey, actually. Now, this horse is all well and good, but where's Midnight? Uh, there we go. Yeah, you can get out of here, son. I want my horse back. Your services are no longer... Whoa! Midnight? What was that about? There we go. Right, let's go save a nun. Or shoot a nun, maybe? I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be shooting her. Although it's kind of tempting. Not going to lie. Well, this place is a hovel. Certainly, uh... Not in New Austin anymore, that's for sure. Still, we come here for the local colour. And let's not pretend that Mexico doesn't have some of the best food on the planet. And hey, tequila. I do like me some tequila. I'm sure they have that in abundance. Uh oh. It's fine. Now, if I was a nun carrying large quantities of money around. Ah, no, she wouldn't have an escort, would she? Because obviously God would protect her. Aha. Okay. There she is. All right, ma'am. There are many people without food. Uh huh. Okay. Amen. Yes, but the Lord has brought you to me. Ah, ah, and their faith has been cast aside. All it would take is a few dollars to get them started on the right path, so they could see there are those who care. Ah, uh -huh. a few dollars to completely restore someone's faith. I never knew life was so simple. Sister. Yes. Life is much simpler than we make it. And God bless you. Wait, that was it? It also looked like uh, we put a lot more paper in there than you would think. That looked like we put like a hundred bucks in there or something. But, you know, whatever. To be fair, we could have. Right. So, we've got London Ricketts. And DeSanta. So, hang on. Isn't there, like, a rivalry in this game between those two people? I don't know. I might be thinking of another game. Perhaps. Uh, Chuparosa. So, what do we have? What, like, unique creatures? We've got armadildos. We've got wolves. We've got horses. Um. Ah. Wait, do we get lions down here, maybe? Possibly. So, it looks like we do actually need to go back to New Austin. If we want to get some boar tusks. That's fine. Ah, hello. Right. 
So boars are there. And I guess that's a uh, boar territory as well. Yeah. All right then, guys. Well, I'm going to leave this one here. Because we're on 35 minutes now. Uh, and when we come back, well, we're going to continue exploring Mexico. We're going to go get that gold bar. Um, I might, off camera... In fact, it probably seems like a good idea. Off camera, I am going to collect the rest of the prickly pears. And I will catch you back here then. So thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.